Yo, what's up guys, my name is Revimp and I am a immortal Jetman. I have more than 1000 hours spent in the game, so I'll give you 8 things I wish I knew when I started playing Valorant. When I first started playing Valorant 2 years ago, I thought that if I watched some pro players or tutorials, I would get better at the game, but I was totally wrong. To get better at Valorant, you really need to spend a lot of time playing, learning all the agents, the maps and everything about the game. So if you are really serious about getting better at Valorant, you need to be consistent, patient and also seek for improvement. You might ask, so how can I get better in the game? In the upcoming for or five minutes i'll teach you everything that you need to improve in valorant when you start playing valorant your crosshair will be either too low or too high so make sure to listen carefully to this part of this video valorant heavily emphasize headshots as they deal more damage and can result in quicker eliminations proper crosshair placement at head level increases the percent of landing headshots when you encounter an enemy in your mind you always need to think about where the enemy hit is going to be in every situation. That's why your crosshair should always be where you expect your enemy to be. Practice makes perfect and that much or team that much is an excellent way to practice crosshair placement skills. Since the game mode is all about shooting and not using abilities, you have plenty of opportunities to practice aiming at head level and pre-aiming common spots. Additionally, you'll be facing off against other players which will help you to get used to the pressure of your games. Ultimately, getting better crosshair placement will take a lot of time and practice, but with that time you'll understand the power of crosshair placement. I usually love to play duelists like Jay Jet, Reyna and Trace, but I've also learned how to play Omen in Sky if I can't play Duelist. So make sure to master a couple of agents so you have something to pick if someone from your team gets your agent. Also if you play agents like Race, you can't really play her on maps like Breeze. So choose your agents wisely and see which one is the best for you. A lot of players also say that it's better to pick your main agent rather than onto few and that is completely right. If you need to play smokes and you have no idea how to play smokers, it's ok to pick your main agent. Your teammates are probably going to be mad at you, but at least you are confident with your abilities and you can play better. Aim training can help you improve your role, aiming ability and muscle memory, which can translate into better performance in the game. However, playing the game itself is also important, as it helps you develop game-specific skills such as map awareness, positioning and game sense. So if you're just starting Valorant or you started a couple of months ago, I would advise you to go to the range and just shoot the bots, try the recoil circle and also the flying bots. And also you can try that much or team that much so you warm up even more. Overall your aiming competitive will feel way better and you'll be more confident. So really nothing can prepare you for bad teammates. You hear people screaming, cursing and all types of things just to ruin your game. The best way to deal with these types of players is just to mute them. This is the easiest and most efficient way to keep playing and trying to win the game. Also the voice chat is going to be weird to you if you played games like League of Legends because you are not used to talk with people all the time. But try to give comps, learn the locations of the maps, tell your teammates for how much you hit the enemies for. With the time you will see how good your comps are going to be, so just give it some time. So when I first hit gold I was so scared to play because if I lost that game I will go back to silver and that is completely normal. When you start climbing the ranks you will see that with the every game your anxiety of losing or playing bad is going away. Right now I'm playing in immortal and I'm not really that scared if I'm going to drop my rank. I play because I really enjoy the game and to upload content for you guys. So don't forget to have fun while playing and enjoy the game. The next topic we will talk about is skins. When I first started playing Valorant I was so excited to get a skin and play with it. But after I bought some skins in the game I realized that skins only matter if you like them. I bought the Glitch Pro Phantom and Blast X Phantom and right now I really don't like them. Just because people talk about that some skin is good it doesn't mean you have to like it. So after some time I bought the Recon Phantom because I really love the skin and right now this is my favorite skin. Also another thing that you need to know is that after you use a skin for one or two weeks you will see that you really don't care about the skin and you are not even going to pay attention that much. Valorant is a team game. Work together with your team to increase your chances of winning. Trading kills and setting up crossfires is essential. If you really want to improve you need to play with your team, give comps, learn to play retakes and how to trade kills. In low EO you are probably never going to use some of these things but if you really want to climb you need to get better with playing with your team. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one and see ya!